that's me with the silver braids conducting the choir hello everyone welcome to my channel my name is Lade Uwulabi and I make videos from the city of Abelkota Ubu State Nigeria where I currently pastor a light life church alongside my husband and it's such a great privilege this is an introduction to a multi-part vlog where I will be showing you the documentary of how we planned and executed our fourth year anniversary as a ministry this is um, a video clip summary from day one and I'm just so excited to show you everything from my perspective you know from when we just had the ideas to you know sharing it with our leaders to having everybody execute and you know teamwork and just how everything played out so please stick with me and let's go on this ride every Sunday until we're done okay thank you so much <laughs> All right, so let's take it all the way back to how Like Life Church started. So my husband told me the vision, you know, before we got married. I thought it was something that was going to happen so far ahead in the future. But then he told me, God said to start 2018. We started in our living room and then we moved to this facility where we used to meet. And, you know, it's just been from one level of growth to another. And this is the same facility that we turned around and, and little by little we're making progress. You know, people started to join the vision and you know believe in the vision and we were really grateful for the space where we were but it became too uncomfortable and so we desired a new space and the lord blessed us with a new space and he blessed us with committed and devoted people and it's been a privilege actually seeing this vision grow and so you're gonna see our story as we turn four are you ready for part one let's enter all right Good morning, good morning. Good morning. PJ. So this is the beginning of the transformation of our what's that thing called? The altar stage. Everything begins with a vision, and this is literally our story in Light Life Church. This is PJ and I um, on the 19th of September. Our anniversary was going to be in October, I believe, um, the first or second week in October, and you know we just started to plan by the 19th of September and so we we're talking about how we wanted to change the stage design. So I'm still here. Zion is behind me. Let me see if I can show you. I don't want to film it. Um, done with the draft. We are setting up for my light life story. Now we're done. Zion and Pastor Derek are testing the set. Zion. B2B2. <laughs> So my light life story is like a testimony of how you came to the church and what your experience has been like. And we like to document it every year where we have new people talk about their stories and I'll share some of the stories at the end of this vlog. Yes, Bolaji has come with our daily bread. Literally, we used to eat a, a lot of bread during this period. Um, I wasn't on any diet, you know, I was just very, very busy with church work at this point in my life. And um, it was rainy season. It wasn't rainy season, but it was from September. Um, this is Zion and you're about to see the bins. The bins. <laughs> calorie burner, my god, it's a calorie burner. This beans is so yummy. Like if you ever come to Light Life Church on a weekday, if we're still at Quarry Road, then you need to taste these beans. I'll buy it for you personally. Anyways, this is Christian and I. We're grooving. We're grooving. We're working and grooving. These are my guys. Um, we have so many creatives in Light Life Church and that's one of the gifts that I'm really, really grateful for. So this is the set. PJ was making his own um, promotional video for the anniversary. This is Zionite. Shout out to Zionite. He was also present. And see, however much people are on ground, we will share the food that we buy together. Uh, let me see. Do you have one thousand now? Yes, it's one thousand. Uh, it's one thousand now. Last time I bought it was one thousand now. Is it the same? Uh, yes, so news flash Domino's is hawking on the streets. <laughs> Domino's pizza is hot, they are hawking and hustling. Um, we promised the way that we're going to buy her pizza. Well, now it's pick up from school and go home afterwards. And instead of waiting in line, I mean, this I really like the idea. So, but they have these mini pizzas that they sell. I don't even know how much it is right now. This I'm I'm doing publishing this video in 2023. I'm sure it has almost doubled in price. I'm not quite sure. If you know how much it is now, let us know in the comments. But 
yeah it's just good to have this on record and the ladies knew I actually invited them to anniversary at this point i was inviting everybody mind you we did not know how this and we're going to pull this off because church work requires a lot a whole lot of financing sponsoring supporting everything in and every most of it involves finances and what i've seen over the years with my husband is that we don't plan according to what we have um this is september 21st and this is i don't know the the mastermind this particularly has been the one that shout out to pastor Kuni of real life christian center in abelkota as well he has a special gifting i call it a ministry because if you cater to other churches it's a ministry so pastor Kuni came to cost it we showed him our idea that we we're drawn on paper you know we were here dreaming big with our shishi <laughs> She, she just means we didn't have any money <laughs> and this is how usually the work has been and most times god always comes through every time actually this is september 28th seven days after and i think we had made a deposit my second is down here to take measurements so that he can you know get work start you know get to work and start making the frames and start bringing that vision to life here we are back on the set of my light life story and this time we had more people on set to record their light life story this is esther you see it's in one of the parts of this vlog and that's stone stone is the head of safety and security system of llc sss and this is my lovely zoe guys it's not easy it's almost like i see i have a nine to five it's even worse this one is i have a 24 hour 247 on call job but I still, you know, try as much as possible to make my children, my, my biological children, know and feel that they are loved. I show them attention. And I just try. I just, to be honest, I just try. <laughs> These are some of the people on set and they decided to take a picture because, of course, the set is beautiful. There's lights, there's camera. And they decided to take a picture and everybody else started joining and joining and joining. And so I want to give a special, special shout out to all these amazing beautiful people on set don't worry please stay tuned to the end of the vlog i'll i'll be playing two black life stories that i think um will be a good transition into the part two of this anniversary series and that's going to be about the choir so we'll do choir then we'll come back you know we're just as god leads as god leads amen <laughs> amen now everybody wants to join the picture oh look at that light look at oh my goodness oh, oh. My one of the greatest lessons i've learned and i keep learning it over and over again since you know i had the privilege of my life to be part of this vision is to trust god just trust god when god gives you a vision when god gives you a picture trust him or still work Trusting God and when God gives you a dream, it doesn't mean you're not going to work. You're going to work very, very hard. The other day I was telling my husband that you know these things are so hard. It's so difficult to juggle all these things together. And he was telling me that success is hard. It's hard. When God gives you a picture, he shows you the finished product, but the process is hard. But we still thrive, we still try. So this is my word of encouragement to you today that if God has given you anything, I remember I remember how I felt in this season. I was really, really distraught. I was really thinking, God, how is this anniversary going to happen? How is this going to happen? How? But well, God made a way. God made a way. God I'm Emmanuel Musima Bale. Uh, I want to share my LLC experience. I was directed here by the Holy Spirit. Having had choir rehearsal from my house and it was a splendid one and I must comment that uh, ever since I have not regretted a day being in NLC. Sincerely it has been from one level to another. Is it for testimonies of open doors of um, job and all that? God has been so faithful in LLC and uh, I really thank God for making me a part of it even to serve in Iraq. That's the choir arm. I really thank God for that privilege and it's not taken for granted. I want to use this opportunity to shout out to LSA on our fourth anniversary. It shall be a splendid and glorious one even for us all in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
My name is Nivon Courage. Okay, I joined LLC in January 2022. Let me tell you a quick story of how I joined LLC. So I was walking by the church and I heard music from the church. And it's my kind of music because I've not really heard it in Abiyokuta before. So I started dancing on the road and I told my girlfriend walking with me. I was like, ah, baby P, let's come to church. She was like, ah, no, don't worry. The next week we'll come to church. I was like, okay, no problem. And the next week I came and since then I've been in LLC. So what really made me stay in LLC was the word. The word was so touching. Not every time you get to hear words like that. And also something really caught my attention too. The U and U section. That day there was this U and U and I was like, oh, wow, really? So, um. Yes, I'm using this opportunity to say thank you, PJ. I love you for the amazing word you have been using to transform my life. Um, more grace to you, sir. And also, I want to give a shout out to my service unit, Roak. Yay! Shout out to Roak because through Roak, I'm also growing too. And yeah, that's all. And I'm using this opportunity to also say happy anniversary to us. Next week, I'm going to take you behind the scenes of how the choir, we call our choir Roak, R U A C H. Rock of LLC. They actually have an Instagram page, so check them out on Instagram. And that's PJ sitting down behind me and myself. This was one of the choir all night. And guys, we are so committed, one million percent committed to the music of Night Life Church. And I have I need a whole episode for some of the behind the scenes from the choir, and I'm going to share that with you next week Sunday. If you've enjoyed this vlog, let me know your favorite part in the comments, and please tell somebody that Lady is back. I have woken up from my creative slumber in Jesus' name. <laughs> 2019 is the last time I, you know, had this kick of creativity where I was, you know, always posting, always creating content and vlogs. In another time, I will tell you why I've been gone and you know, all of that. But for now, make me enjoy this one. Make me use this one. Take over this. I see you next week, Sunday. However, during the week, expect more content from you on shorts and even on YouTube uploads. I love you guys. God bless you.